<laughs> my name is Storm Janssen von Rainsburg and I am the curator for the exhibition Oblique uh, by South African photographer Aubrey Fury. We're standing outside the Iwaleba House, which is the Center for African Studies um, at the University of Bayreuth. Um, a really interesting organization that invited the exhibition a little while ago. Um, it's an exhibition of photography and a video installation. Um, and why photography? Uh, it's the main focus of the artist. Um, he's a photographer from South Africa. Um, and the exhibition is a collection of works from his archive. It's a kind of a re-looking at his archive. We'll look, have a look at it now. I'll take you upstairs and we can, can walk through it. Um, but why photography? South Africa has a very strong tradition and history of photography. Um, it is something that comes out of our very specific past. Um, it is something that's associated with a kind of a social um, documentary style. Um, it's kind of almost like a, a journalistic style. Um, but there's also been artists and photographers from South Africa who's been working against that kind of mode of working in more conceptual ways. And I think Aubrey's work is a very good example of, of a kind of a more conceptual approach to photography, um, which I think is really interesting and which I really like work with. Yeah. Let's, let's go, let's go inside. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, exhibition. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. So as you can see, the exhibition starts here. It is not a traditional white cube. Um, it's a teaching institution as well. Um, so we had to find ways for the exhibition to sit in the space and you know, find um, uh, formal ways to to kind of like put make the image uh, the exhibition cohesive. It's basically in four rooms, um, uh, three rooms, linked by this corridor. Um, on the left-hand side, we painted the corridor grey um, to kind of put focus on the images on the other wall um, and to let it run almost as a ribbon and link the exhibition spaces that's in opposite sides of the, the building. So we're going right in the first room here. First installation of photographs. Um, this work spans a period of about 20 years of the artist. It's from his archive. Um, he received a prize in South Africa a couple of years ago to, for professional development, and what he did is he digitized his entire film archive um, and through this process got to rediscover almost work that he's made over the last couple of um, decades. Um, and an opportunity to look at new connections between images. Um, Aubrey is very interested in memory. Um, um, he's also very interested in things that are not necessarily spectacular. It's almost the, the everyday, the normal, um, almost fleeting passing images, um, but with very strong connections to a kind of identity. And he is very curious about what that identity means. He's South African, living in Berlin and Germany. The work is about his, his, his path as a, um, as a traveler, um, as a citizen, um, as a world traveler, and kind of like looking for points of connection and home in a way in all these, these different places. Um, so, yeah, a selection of color photographs. He works most in film. Um, these images are produced um, with, uh, um, uh, they're mounted on aluminium um, and beautiful frames made for them, um, which I really like, there's a simplicity to it, but it's also very traditional, almost a traditional way of working um, in photography, um, which, which I really respond to. What I said earlier about South African photography, Aubrey is interested in different kind of things, that I think makes it also very refreshing. Um, I mean, we 
thought about the placement of the work very carefully in this room. Uh, I mean, we have some large, beautiful color images on, on, the, on the back wall there, something that draws you in. And next to it, kind of an image of a similar blue, um, just to kind of like bring those two spaces together. Yeah. So these are two swimming pools from South Africa. It's an Olympic swimming pool in Hatfield, Pretoria, where the artist grew up. Um, this is the, uh, also from the swimming pool space. It's the, uh, um, as you can see, it's a, it's a kind of a modernist building that um, in Brazil, I think, is also some interesting connections there. One thing that I'm talking about, um, architectural modernism, um, in Pretoria, where these images were taken, um, the architecture school. I'm sorry. Um, in terms of criteria, I'm not sure exactly how to articulate that. I mean, it's not something that I think have very specific rules. For me, as a curator, I'm more interested in whatever artists do and whatever their mode of working is. I think is not that it's irrelevant, but I'm more interested in the relationship with an artist and that we, that that possibility to have that relationship and then to mediate the work to a public. Um, I personally am quite interested in photography. I don't think it necessarily asks any specific skills over and above somebody who works in other media necessarily. Um, I, uh, I just think there needs to be a sensitivity to the content of the work and the conceptual background of the work and to make that come forward as strongly as possible and to communicate that. Um, I'm not sure if I'm answering your question exactly, um, but I mean, I think photography um, in a fine art context um, is something that has grown very much in the last couple of years. Um, there's a lot more photography in our museums and uh, it has a prevalence and a visibility which I think is really fantastic. And, it, and um, yeah, but I'm not sure if it really needs a different kind of approach from other kinds of curating necessarily.